Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Tonight we're on the red carpet at the New York premiere of FX's The American Season 4, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Season four of The Americans. It's got to be exciting to be back. Yes, yeah, amazing. You know, I've never come back to a job once, more or less, much less four times. So it's really nice to have this sort of continuity and collegiality and family and, you know, familiarity with the characters and the environment. It's really, it's a change and it's very nice. You're everywhere. Every time I turn my television on or film, oh, don't you're everywhere. Say that. <laughs> That's a good thing. Well, you're on this show, which is a pretty know, amazing it's a show. Great show. What drew you to it? Uh, well, I'd done the series Justified, and uh, Graham Yost was the uh, creator of Justified, and he called me up and said, would you like to come play a Russian spy? I said, oh dear, Russian <laughs> spy. And he said, yeah, Russian spy. I said, do I have to have a Russian accent? He said, no. I said, okay, I'll do it. Can you do a Russian accent? I, I would have to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> this show, there's nothing like it on television. When you look at this premise, why does it work so well? Because the critics love it, and it, is, it really is a brilliant show. It's brilliant because it, because it, the family reflects the world, reflects the spies, who's telling the truth, uh, who are you hiding from, are you ever being yourself? It works on a thousand different levels, and it's so well written that uh, I think it's no, nothing phony about it. Pretty amazing show on your network. Great show. Uh, I've been a fan of uh, of Americans since the beginning. My old boss from my first thing, Northern Exposure, is a uh, is a producer of the show and a writer of the show, Josh Brand. And so it's cool to uh, it's cool to be here tonight. Full circle for me. Now you have season two of Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. You have my Big Fat Greek Wedding two coming up. It's a lot of twos for you over the next few months, right? It's a lot of twos. It's good twos. We just started uh, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll two this week. We finished yesterday our first week, so we're here throughout May, and uh, the movie's coming out in 20 days. Excited. It's one thing to do television, but it's another thing for people to say, "Hey, you're making great television." Talk to me about being able to make great television. What makes this show so good? Okay. This show is not a spy show. This show is a relationship show that happens to be in on the background of cloak and dagger activity. They just happen to be spies. That's their, those are their jobs. But ultimately, they're just trying to have a family, trying to raise their kids. That's what makes it so, so good. The relationship between Carrie and Matthew, uh, their chemistry is kind of profound and, uh, and palpable, and you can feel that. And I think... Uh, Expecting the unexpected is the key. I think that's what's been happening, particularly in this season. This season more than the other three that I worked on. Uh, I was constantly surprised where I couldn't wait to see what happens in the next episode. And I think that there are plenty of, holy smokes, kind of experiences from the actors. So I think if we're experiencing that being a part of this, I think the audience is really going to be knocked out by what's to come. Oh, I mean, the writing, uh, first and foremost, um, it's so, it's such a wonderful slow burn at times, um, and uh, it's so sophisticated on so many different levels. Uh, you have a spy thriller, and everybody loves a spy thriller, um, that is also about a family. It's, it's, it's just, it's unique, and it's, it's wonderful. And our stars, I'm, um, they're, you, can't, you couldn't ask for better actors in this. You've worked with everybody. What makes this cast so unique? Well, uh, it's it's so interesting. Uh, I when I was uh, I guess it was eighty three when I no it was eighty seven when I got married. I shouldn't get that wrong. Uh, I ran into uh, a guy, John Randolph, who was a fantastic actor, had done a million character roles, and he was a black was blacklisted because he was really. Uh, uh, passionate about getting together with the Russians, with the Soviets, that we should bridge our problems. And it was during Glasnost. 
So he had actually been able to go over and he was now working again. And he was just this great guy. So a cast like this, where we do have a lot of Russian speakers and people that have spent time in Russian, and you know, it, it, it's amazing to sign of get that back and forth, uh, pretty great. I love right now we're seeing such a unique dynamic in the real world with the United States and Russia. When you bring it together on television, does any of the real world play into what you guys are doing on television? Yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I guess what's happening now will be on television about 20 years from today. <laughs> or maybe next year, who knows. What happens in season four? Give me all the spoilers. You know, Martha is all in this season. She's in it to win it. She's going to stand by her man and weather whatever storms come because of that. And there will be a lot of storms that come her way, yeah. You get to work with some really great actors. Kerry, Matthew, Noah, I mean, everybody, such great people. What do you take away from that experience? Mostly just how to act and how to act in public and how to act on screen. They. They've all always helped me and they, I get to watch them, right? So I get to see how they act, what people like and don't like, and it really does teach me a lot. This is such a terrific show. Talk to me about being part of it. Uh, well, it's a family uh, atmosphere and that is true in every aspect of it, from the costuming to the set design to the writing. I mean, it, we really do work together and part of that is because it's so small. This is a show that we all sort of invest in and have a very personal, intimate connection to it. So it's, it's one of the best parts about working uh, on this show. It's one of those shows where you never know, are you going to live, are you going to die? Do you get the scripts and are you like, oh my god, I hope they keep me on here? Like, what happened? Oh yeah, since I started. Like Game of Thrones. Oh, absolutely. Every time the creators call, it's like, are you, am I dying? <laughs> like, and then, no, we're just talking to you about, you know, when you're going to talk to <laughs> It's the Stan, dreaded we call. Wait. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, I thought it was going to die. Yeah, you're living, I guess, in the fear of dying for a long time, so. I've got the brains behind the operation, Joe and Joel. What were you just telling well, me? More of them were thought of as the brawn, so I don't know, it's very flattering. I was gonna say, you obviously just spoke to my mom. <laughs> she was texting me, she's yeah. like, when you see them, just call them the brains, make them feel good. <laughs> season four, guys, congratulations. How Thank exciting you. is it? Four Thank seasons in television, incredible. Thank you. Yeah, it's, I was actually counting, I was doing my best math and counting up the episodes. That's a lot of episodes. That's 13 times four. It, I can't do it here in front of the camera, but that's a lot of episodes. It's a lot. The other, thing is, the other thing that's amazing is season one premiere, we were about halfway through production of season one. We were ground down, exhausted, clawing our way forward. Now we're three days away from wrapping season four. We're essentially we're completely done writing. You didn't we're feeling go, pretty good. You didn't want to go to the premiere season I one. Joel was like, "We got to keep working. We got to get a script I out. We can't go I to said, the party." I can't believe I was very resentful. I said, "I can't believe they're if, <laughs> if the network weren't here, I wouldn't go. I we're too busy making the show. This year, I'm looking forward to the party tonight. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be great. I was going to say what brings you here tonight, but obviously the FX family. Oh man, and my love for the Americans. It's by it's by far my favorite drama on television. So uh, I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. I mean, last year what Paige was getting brought into the circle so is she gonna be on the side of the Soviets is she gonna be on the uh, on the side with the Americans you know it's, 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 a, it's a nice little conflict you're on a great show yourself man you're the I, worst you know everybody's we have, we loving awesome this show time. we we love it we love it I can't wait we miss each other we were just did a round of crazy text messages today because everyone else is uh, everywhere else in LA and Chris is in Manchester and I'm the only one who gets to be here and usually we get to like have a little mini reunion at these things but you know before we know it the end of May will be here soon enough and our family will be back together and we'll just be you know kicking ass and taking names. <laughs>